Hey neighbor, you think we're done? Nope, we're just getting started. So in this video, I'll go through how to set up and manage a project board as a beginner using Trello. Of course, there are other project management tools that you can use. I have used a few of them. This is my air table. Yes. I have also used ClickUp, but on a different account. And this is Notion that I'm currently using. Notion is a bit complicated and will require a separate video on its own as well as click up but as a beginner i highly recommend you start with trello because trello is beginner friendly it's easy to use so i'll be taking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up and manage a project board using trello so the first thing you want to do is to go to google and type trello sign up and it will bring you here who's calling me So on Trello, there are different templates that you can use. Let's just explore a few of them. This is the project management template. This is Kanban. I personally love using Kanban. And this is a simple project management board. Okay, so those are different templates. There are a lot. You can click browse the full templates gallery and you will see a lot of templates that you can explore. But for the sake of this tutorial, I want to create the project board from scratch. So to do that, come here, click on create. Create board. And you give it a title. What should we create? Let's create a social media. Oops. Let's create a social media. This is going to really be helpful for you, especially if you are a social media manager or you want to be a VA specializing on social media management. This is going to really help you a lot. Okay, so social media content calendar. All right. So this is the visibility for the workspace. All members of my team can have access to this board and they can edit it. Okay. But if you want it to be private, you choose private. If you want it to be public, you choose public. This means that anyone on the internet can have access to this board, but only members can be able to edit it. It means you can send your link after creating your board. You can send the link to someone else and then the person will be able to view your board, everything on your board, but won't be able to edit. So I'm just going to stick with the workspace. Yeah, you can also change the background as well. You can click here for more. You can choose colors, you can choose photos, you can choose patterns. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then you click on create. This is where people often get confused because, okay, so what do I do now? <laughs> I got you. All right. We have our blank canvas, our blank board. What we want to do next, our first step is to set up our project board by creating columns and giving them their designations. <laughs> the first thing we want to do is to rename this to, this can be, we can call this ideas or we can call it, let's call it think think tank this is where we we'll do all our thinking or our ideas our brain dump will dump them here <laughs> okay so the next column will be research okay all right the next one will be scripting add another list and we'll call that filming add list we're going to add another column and we'll call it editing the next one will be seo <laughs> okay seo add we're almost there we'll add another column and we're going to call this one this is schedule scheduled at least and the final one which is going to be published. Boom. <laughs> all right. The think tank column is where you have all your ideas, all your brain dump. Any idea you come up with, you dump it here. Okay. It doesn't have to be organized. Next column is research. This is where you do all your research, all your brainstorming. Next, scripting. You know what this means already. <laughs> and then filming. So you move, you're going to be moving your projects from ideation, right, to publish. <laughs> I hope you understand. SEO, for example, YouTube is going to be your title, your description, your tags, 
<laughs> okay, so if it's a social media post, for instance, then we are talking about your caption, your hashtag here. Okay, so once you're done with that, you schedule your post. And once it's published, you bring it here, you move it here. Okay, so now we're done. Let's get into business, which is to add a card to add tax to do that just click on add a card let's say i want to create a video on upwork bidding <laughs> okay so that's the idea i have i'm just going to come here and say let's make this card upwork upwork bidding that's my idea okay but this is not going to end here so to further edit this card i'm going to click on edit card open this card yeah and make it broader you can do that from here or or you can just double click the space and it will bring you here it will open the card all right this is why i love trello trello is so cool <laughs> you can do a lot of things here and it's so easy to be very honest take it from me i have used ClickUp. if you are a beginner when it comes to using project management tools please just start with trello trello is the foundational class for the rest for other tools like Airtable. Airtable is a bit simple Sha. I don't know why people say it's complicated. Airtable, ClickUp, Notion. Start with Trello. All right. So here you can add members. Let's say I can add members of my team. For instance, if I have a social media manager or if I have an editor, I can add them here. Next is label. This is something I want to talk to you about. So if you click on it, you can add label. Let's say the content I want to create. Okay, we've established that already. <laughs> we've established that this content is for YouTube. I'm just going to label it YouTube. Remember, this is a social media board, not just YouTube content calendar. It's my social media content calendar, meaning my YouTube will be there. My Instagram content will be there. I'll be planning my Instagram content here. I'll be planning my LinkedIn content here for TikTok. I'm still trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to see how I can marry TikTok for now. I'm not going to put pressure on myself, by the way. If you are not following me on TikTok, you said I should open a TikTok account. I have done that follow me on tiktok i'll try to keep the link in the description okay so i want to create a label for youtube all right okay so i want to use i'm going to use i've added the title youtube next is to change the color to red because youtube is red and click on create now we have a label for youtube we're going to come back to this label okay all right so the next thing is your checklist you can add checklist here let's say i always have checklists i normally use google doc for that <laughs> yes i always have my checklist all right i can call this checklist let's do use cup checklist before live so check my checklist before i go live it's gonna come down here I will say design thumbnail okay design thumbnail design thumbnail I'm going to add that oops write description write description generate tags generate tags and so on and so forth <laughs> okay so that's it for the checklist the next feature i want to show you is the date i can set the date i want this video to go live i want to publish this video so let's say i want this video to go live on thursday next week i'm going to choose the date and i'm also going to change the time as well but let's just leave the time okay i um, can also set reminder I can also set reminder the reminder can be at due time five minutes before 10 minutes okay this applies for no matter the project you are planning please stay with me this is super important you can use this for yourself you can use this for your clients okay this is very important okay so i'm just going to leave it at one day before i click on save all right so the next is attachments let's say i have a thumbnail inspo for the video i can bring that here I'll just click on here i'm going to use a thumbnail i created but you might not be able to see it so yeah i'm trying to get my thumbnail now <laughs> from my file manager okay all right so the thumbnail is uploading Yes, this is the thumbnail. You're going to see it. Don't worry. All right. The next feature is custom fields. You can only customize your fields in the paid version. <laughs> they are giving so much for free already. So 
can't fault them all right let me show you one of the amazing features of using trello okay i know others have it as well but not all of them <laughs> add power ups they are called power ups when you click on it it will show you different add-ons that you can add to your board can you open place okay so you can add notes you can add a lot of things let's get back to the board this is what our tax looks like you can see my thumbnail inspo here have you watched this video <laughs> watch this video okay i want to create another card another tax so i can show you how to use the label again so this one is going to be for a linkedin post let's say i want to write a linkedin post about how to onboard a foreign client <laughs> I'm just thinking about this now. Can I actually write on this? Or I should make a video on it. Okay, so we have this add card. Okay, and now you double click and it will bring you here. So I want to show you how to do the next label. The first one was YouTube. So the next one we want to create is for LinkedIn. LinkedIn is what? I think it's blue. Yes. Okay, so we're going to come here and see LinkedIn. create label click on create yep and then we have our label on our card why are you showing me two two lines how many how many colors did i choose i just made the one okay so now we've created our labels once you see red you know that is youtube once you see blue you know is linkedin even if you don't know you once you click on it you'll see that this content is for youtube okay and this one is for LinkedIn. All right, so now we're done with our think tank, our brain dump. We've added all the things we're thinking right here. Okay, I've showed you how to add tasks. I've showed you this. I've showed you how to assign due date. I've showed you how to add checklists and file attachments. Next thing I want to show you now is how to move your cards. Okay, so let's say we're done with all of the thinking and all of the brain dump. We've added it in the description, everything in our head. We've added them in the description. Now we're going to move this card to the next stage, which is research. And as you can see here, the list has changed from think tank to research here right here <laughs> what am i going to be doing here the first thing in my head i'm thinking okay what are the questions that virtual assistants or freelancers are asking about creating for jobs on upwork what are the questions they're asking i'll go to my youtube videos i'll probably pull my freelance community and ask them what are your challenges what are your pain points okay so whilst i'm doing all of that my card will remain in the research stage okay please let me know in the comment section that you understand what i'm saying <laughs> okay so once i'm done with my research i am going to move my card to scripting here is where i will do i don't really script full scripting anymore well i just know what i want to talk about and then i start talking just like this one now <laughs> but there are some videos i create outlines for okay especially talking heads video i have to create outlines so i'll not sit down and be thinking of what to say oh or miss an important point i'm supposed to say so here in the scripting stage i am going to organize my ideas I am going to organize my thoughts. So once I'm done with that, I know I am ready to film. Okay. And then I'm going to move my card to filming. What did I do? I moved everything. I moved everything. And, and then I'm going to move my card to filming. This is where I film the video. Yes. Record the video okay <laughs> and then after filming we move to editing so here if i have an editor this is where the person will come in so once we're done with the editing move to seo i had already explained what seo is if you missed it that means you are skipping this video go back okay so from there i should do the post and we have a published video here let me show you a list of published videos from my air table yes I just moved something I'm not supposed to move. So here I have completed, yes. <laughs> so these are my published videos so far, yes. About the thumbnail inspo, yes. This is not my thumbnail, you can see here. Yeah, this is something I created. I wanted to use for the thumbnail, but I did not. Okay, so no matter the project you're managing for yourself, you're managing for a client, this is how you go about it. So let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or if there is any video topic you'd like me to create content on. You know, neighbor, I got you. <laughs> okay, so that's it. 
give this video a like i can't i cannot believe this i'm just saying this now give this video a like so it can reach a wider audience and if you are yet to subscribe to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button neighbor and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the content on the channel thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful bye neighbor Thank you.